So Rocky and I are here on property today and he is in the process of sowing some cucumber, beetroot and pop chai seeds. We wanted to show you how he goes about doing all of that. Uh, and um, we're going to take you through the different stages of development in this video, right back to harvesting. So stay tuned. So guys, before Rocky prepared the land for planting, he had to select an area on property to plant the seeds. After he identified somewhere, he fenced off the area. And usually after this is done, he would irrigate the land. But because rain fell a few hours earlier, he omitted this process and went straight into the next process, which is what he is doing right now. So as you can see, he used a pickaxe to till the soil. And the reason why he did this was because he wanted to soften the soil so that he could easily remove all the stones and you know the weeds and grass that were present in the soil and also to make the planting process easier he then turned the pickaxe horizontally and leveled the soil after he did all of that he used his fingers and machete to create rows in the soil Then he distributed the pak choy seeds in between these rows on half of the bed. And beetroot seeds in between these rows on the remaining half of the bed then he used the raised parts of the bed to lightly cover the seeds The cucumber seeds were sown on the outer part of the bed so that the cucumber vines could be trained to run on the fence. Three Cucumber seeds were sown in each hole, which were about 2.5 centimeters deep, and then they were lightly covered with soil. The reason why three seeds were planted in the holes was because he wanted to increase the chances of germination success. After he sowed the seeds, he irrigated the soil. Then a bamboo frame was placed on top of the fence 
from one end to the next. Coconut leaves were then placed on top of this frame which essentially would help the soil to retain moisture and when the soil retains moisture it basically facilitates germination which under normal circumstances takes place one to two days after planting. Unfortunately, the beetroot seeds failed to germinate and this could have happened for several reasons. It could have been because the seeds weren't stored properly or perhaps they were very old. It could have also been the soil or the environment or because they could have been eaten by ants, birds or just some other kind of animal. Did you know that Pak Choi is a member of the cabbage family? And in Jamaica, we call it pop chow, but depending on where in the world it is grown, it is also called Chinese cabbage, bok choy, and other names. So these plants are normally irrigated once daily, twice weekly, but that is only if there is no rain. These are the Pak Choi plants at five weeks old. And as you can see, the garden is looking quite overcrowded. So Rocky had to transplant some of these plants. But before he did this, he had to irrigate the plants, which will essentially soften the soil and will also facilitate an easier transplanting process. It will also lessen the likelihood of damaging the plants during the process as well. The plants are now at six weeks old.
and as you can see the cucumbers have started to blossom many people assume that cucumbers are vegetables however they are actually botanically classified as fruits simply because they have seeds and they grow from the flower of the plant These cucumbers are usually ready for their first harvest at around six weeks after planting the seeds. The best quality cucumbers tend to have a uniformly green color and are also firm and crisp. this is the third harvest and as you can see these cucumbers look kind of frosty and that is because rain had just fallen so you know the change in temperature would have caused that like cucumbers Pak choys are usually ready for harvesting at about six weeks after the seeds have been sown. The correct way to harvest them is by cutting the entire head from the soil and by trimming off old dead leaves however since we are growing them for home use we just handpick them mm -hmm. 